We're together! Your box with Eden Middleman and Simona Catalano. Episode 10 is here. We've been hyping it up, but it's gonna be so fucking worth it. I am so excited. It really, really fucking is. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I could cry. Okay, so we both look a little janky. I mean, you look great. I You don't look janky. I have some under eye issues. Um born with it, a little black eye, cute. Um, so we're just gonna do our makeup. our makeup today. So I think that like we are essentially going to first of all, we have two very different makeup looks. Definitely. That we do, and like on the regular, I mean, I always, my makeup is always the same no matter where I'm going, so it's like definitely more natural and like a more like just basic look. So Eden loves makeup, and she's so good at it, so she's going to take you through her look, and while we're doing this, we're going to get into some shit. Cheers. Cheers to episode 10, guys. My face, I'm going to do what I wear to get laid in. I'm kidding. Um... No, I'm gonna do my makeup like how I would do it to go to work, I think. Which is like my daily makeup, which is what I normally wear. Like usually I put that. Oh, I use that too. We use the same thing on our face because hello, sensitive skin. And if you have issues with your skin, this is the only shit you should be using. Okay. So we both use this moisturizer and I think that that's applied on both of our faces already. Oh my god, you broke the clip. No, I almost not that it matters. She just she has thicker hair. I have such thick hair. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hair up because I'm a sweaty mess and I don't know how looks i know there's like a little bump we're just gonna go with it um so yeah let's just we're gonna ask each other questions while we're doing our makeup this is like our little boozy get ready let's do that usually i just like wait so i'm gonna let you start and because i'm gonna ask you a question i'm gonna ask she you... takes two minutes and i take seven hours <laughs> for the first half i'll just like be playing with my hair and drinking and asking eden questions how do we feel eden about one night stands or how do you feel can you tell us <sighs> um i'm not a huge one night fan one night stand, one night, one night, stand fan. <laughs> one night stand, stand fan. fan. Um, because I think that the first time you have sex with somebody new, it's a write off. Like sex, don't lie to me. Sex fucking sucks. The first time with anybody, you guys don't know your rhythm. You guys don't know who you are. You're a little exactly. weary and uncomfortable because you don't trust each other. In general, am I one night stand kind of girl? I mean, I could be if we vibe before and like. If we talked about yeah. this, like literally, <laughs> if I'm an ocean, we, it's a go, it's a go. If I'm not, then we just fucking, we cannot. If it's like Niagara Falls down there because you've been working me all We're night. Canadian guys. Like so um, I'm going to bring this shit down my neck because when he's like doing me and I lift my head up and be all hot, like I just don't want to see the line. <laughs> okay. Right, exactly. That's important <laughs> about the one night stand. It's kind of not really gonna be a one night stand type thing, right? Like, like you need to know the person's body. Like I have done it like once and it was just like, I could never do it again. It wasn't a fun experience for me. And it was tr through and through a one night stand. Like literally met while we were out somewhere in another country on vacation, vibed, it happened, it went down. Then we never spoke again and I never saw him cause he like didn't even live where I lived. So it was like all the anxiety and all that shit mm -hmm. that I was like having afterwards because it was my first time doing a one night stand. I was like, I can't even message this fucking guy. It's just not my vibe. No, one night stand is so risky, guys. You have to really do it right. Um, we can definitely go into that in like another episode, like really in depth about one night stands. But like through and through, I'd much rather be a, a few night stands than a one night stand. Like I want to get to know you. Because yeah, at least time. with like the other people that like I've been with, it was just like... You know, at least I could like message them if anything went wrong. Went wrong. A little plan B question, question mark. I wasn't even living in Toronto when this happened. Like I was in the States for an internship in New York and like having to return to work after like the 4th of July weekend. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, I feel like this happens to everybody. 4th of July weekend. Everybody's out partying, you know, way too much. Shit hits the fan. And then... It's like you need to walk into CVS the next morning and like buy a plan B and the lady downstairs is looking at me like, do you have a good weekend? And I was like, you know what? I don't need that negative Let's energy coming to talk me right it. now because <laughs> you're fucking crunching my vibe and I'm on the way to work. It's fucking 7.30. I'm late and I have to fucking buy a plan B and take it to the bathroom at work. Like, oh, fuck me. No. I really like to like dive deep into sex and I think that... In what way? Like, what do you mean? Like, while, like, sex. Like, full on the act. 
I think that I like to really experiment with uh, different people and different styles. So it's Ooh. kind of like I need to like work you a little bit, a few times to like get it and to, to get it. Yeah, you guys, you need that fucking rhythm, that flow. They need to know what works for you, and you also need to know what works for you. Hundred percent. It right? shouldn't be just a one way street, definitely. And like especially like at the time that that happened, I was young, younger, and I wasn't like I forgot my brushes. Oh no, do you want to use mine? I mean, I don't. Really okay, have. I'm gonna go grab them. They were, they should be here. They were in my thing. Oh. I already look like a cakey ass bitch. I was not supposed to put on makeup today, man. Wow. Major red flag. Like, if you feel like you don't want to do it, you shouldn't do it. And, like, don't have a guy, like, pressure you into doing it just because, like, you're already there. Like, that's fucking not okay. Okay. Also, I think that for the first time, like, one night stands, I mean, shit can go really wrong. Sex is, like, a gross, nasty thing, and you have to be really comfortable. So it's like, what if he's fucking you and he doesn't know how to fuck you properly? And then you like, he definitely doesn't. <laughs> and then you like, that's all. That's the <laughs> other big fucking problem. This guy Most busts don't. in like two minutes. I'm like, wait, you're done? Yeah, it's like a new vajiji. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, make it fucking work. Like, you don't even have energy for round two. Like, I get we're drinking, but like, what a bad buzz. Yeah, honestly, that's why it's really difficult. I don't. I. I guess you know what. I guess my answer is I wouldn't do it when I stand on it. Yeah. It. Friends with benefits. I mean, episode nine obviously is something I, I fucks with or could fuck with, right? Depending on the circumstances. Um, and back in the day was something that was a little bit more enticing to me. Um, but also it's like, it's such an intimate thing and I'm not an emotional romantic person. People who know me know that very well. I'm pretty much like, okay, no, like, but you need trust, trust. And also like I was going to say, if shit goes wrong and there's like a little queefy queef situation, remember, I need to be comfortable. Yes. Like I need to be comfortable. And also you need to know what the fuck you're doing. Like, mm. why am I queefing? You fucking spread my vagina out way too much. Listen to that shit, guys. Okay, like there's now fucking air bubbles in there. And how in. do you want them to get in. out? Some guys will like pull out, they'll like grab your legs and pull out and your vagina's spread. This is really in depth, man. This really is, <laughs> but I'm also learning. <laughs> and like you're pushing away from her and you're pulling out your dick. And there's air. So, like, you open the vagina and there's yes. air that gets caught there. And a queef, that's how it happens. It has nothing to do with your asshole. Okay? So, relax. Exactly. It's not, like, relax. weird. Um, and it's your fault. It's the guy's fault. Facts. Straight up. Guys, fucking Straight fault. up facts. You just so, don't know. So, now you know. But if you're not comfortable with the guy and the guy's immature as fuck and doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Exactly. He's, like, he thinks it's a you problem. It's actually a him problem. Nah, it's, like, it's, it's definitely a him problem. It's definitely a him it's problem. It's a big him problem. I mean, I did, I just did under eye concealer and I just basically apply, like, a glowy, like, very neutral bronzer. I need to watch what you do. I do it all over my face and, like, sometimes I'll get a more concentrated brush and do it on my eyelids just for like a little bit of flavor, but Ooh. that's basically where I'm at in my routine and I'm basically oh. almost done, so. Okay, so right now I'm gonna take a little fluffy motherfucking brush that cost mm -hmm. me $9 and I'm gonna dip it into my really janky chocolate. Ooh, Too Faced. A, a little Too Faced, I'm a Too Faced biatch. Too Faced biatch. And I'm gonna go in with a little mocha and I'm gonna rub that all over my eye to look like I have a little bit of pink eye, but not too much to scare him away. Not too much Just to like scare a, him away. Just like a little shadow, a little... People probably think I'm like caking this on. Like if you really understood how fucking... Like there's nothing. Like, there's nothing. Like she's it's putting so nothing on her airy. face. It's so she's airy. She's lying. <laughs> no, it's so airy. You really, you need to continually put it on in order for you to get anything anywhere. When would you say sex is over? When? It's natural for a guy to just bust a little nutty nut all over the face. Um, or oh, all over the face. Or the stomach. I mean, it doesn't matter. I have to love you. Really? Like, you need to be my man. If I'm going to let you bust on my face, that's just me. It's fine. Like, <laughs> like, that's just how I am. I used to be like that. I'm like, just... My, yeah. my mom is gonna be like, what the fuck have I raised? What the fuck have I raised? No, this is just facts. Guys, listen, it is a little degrading. It is a little clogging of the pores. Um, just... Actually, I read C. No, is great no, for no, your pores. no, that is fucking BS. Oh, okay. I honestly think whoever did that was a guy. He's like, I just want to make sure my girlfriend, she's so into her skincare routine, which is like semen is like the best thing. So she's going to be like, asshole. Just shower me with it. Sure. So, no, I or think that's false. a shower. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I like where this is going. No, you don't. <laughs> Have you heard of the golden shower? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, ew! Would you ever? No, actually a guy did that to me while I was in the shower with him. Wait, what? Okay, so he- You got a golden shower. 
Like, so I was not, like, forced upon you. Like, not, like, not consensual. Non-consensual golden shower. <gasps> non-consensual, a little piss. Stop. Ah. What? I heard that pee is good for uh, uh, a, a, a sting. Stop, a jelly, stop a jelly reading that. Anyway, I have to stop reading shit. <laughs> She's, like, reading, like, men.com. What That's men how like. I research. That's how I fucking research. Anyways. You got a golden shower. Please fill it Okay, up. so I was taking a shower with um, my significant other at the time. And oh, okay, that's different though. No, it's not. Like, it's not? I don't like, fuck with that. At least you knew him. Like, so, you know? like, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm, like, showering, like, doing my thing. It's not a sexual shower. It was just, like, a shower. And right. then I feel something, like, warm. Oh my on gosh. my calf. I, I can't. I can't right And I now. was like, what the fuck? So I turn around, and this guy's just, like, laughing and peeing. And I'm like, you know what's funny? In the shower. You know what's funny is that when you go to bed, I'm cutting your dick off, and I'm going to the police station with my hands up in the air, smiling, saying I cut your dick off, willingly. Oh yeah. my fucking... So then I was like, what the fuck? He's like, oh, I was just kidding. And I'm like, what? Oh my bitch? god, no. Like, was it yellow? Like, did you see? No, but it smelled, man. Things to not do to kill the <laughs> fucking Things to vibe. not do. <laughs> like, for God's sake. Like, Listen, like, we were really close, so it was kind yeah, of... Yeah, like, I get but that. But still, I wasn't like, that close. <laughs> there is such a thing as too close for comfort. Like, it's it was, just, yeah. you know? And that's, I think, what it was. I have a really good guy friend. You know who you are. Um, and he loves, like, a lot of that weird... I mean, I wouldn't say weird, just, like, kinky things. Um, like, eating things out of people's buttholes. And oh. Like, like... Oh! Like, specifically... Let's talk about that. Would, have you... Specifically, would you ever let a guy eat your ass? No, I'm not really into that. I'm not into that either. How about like the thumb in the ass? I'm not down. I could never. Like, you know she could shit herself, right? Like, you know she could shit on you. You know that that's a thing. Yeah, of course. Same with anal. That, that's what I'm, yeah. It's like a risk you gotta, you gotta take. You gotta take one for the team. You gotta, nah, man. There's no fucking, we're not risking shit over if, here. If you're going into the poop shoot, you gotta be prepared. Yeah, I know a guy who's like really into that and like who's like an avid golden shower kind of guy. And he actually how likes to approach that. He like, actually, how does he get them to like want to do it? He sits them down and says, Hey, instead of me pissing on you, how about you piss on me? Wait, what? Yeah. He lies down in the bathtub like this and then she pisses Ooh. on him. I'm going to vomit. We yeah. need to like, we had a great burrito like prior to this and it's, it's and coming it's up. Out. Yeah. We're going to show it's you. It's fucking coming up. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you so. know what? Different strokes for different folks. I used to be very judgmental about people who had who had like things in the bedroom. Oh, I don't care. I just think it's like not my thing. I don't think it's sanitary. I know it's not my thing. So well, if my sex husband isn't sanitary. is watching this, that's not our vibe, baby. Yeah, baby, don't piss <laughs> on me in the shower without my consent. And even if I say yes, I'm probably drunk, so don't do it. Exactly okay. my point. I forgot. Oh my god. Speaking of piss. I need a Q-tip because I'm a little bit messy when I do my eyes. You messy? I'm messy. <laughs> I'm messy. I'm messy. I'm messy. What? Oh, I love this energy. I'm so wetting. Like my pits are sweating and my tits are really hard. So um, I'm cold up here, but I'm hot under here. Oh. Have you ever had that? Is that menopause? I don't know. Anyways. Um, menopause is when you're hot, but anyways. Hot and cold. No? Heat flashes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> we've got a long time till then, I hope. So anyways, I was talking about piss. I actually think it's so hot when a guy pisses in front of you. Like in the toilet, obviously. Yeah, if he's like well hot? equipped, it's really hot. Or like when a guy's like so tired and he puts his hand on the on the wall while he's pissing and he's just like holding his dick and pissing. I'm like, <gasps> oh, yeah, <laughs> so hot. That is so hot. I thought hot. I was the only one. No, I have like a weird. Oh my yeah, god, I like I like watched my boyfriend like piss a million times. I'm like, please, can I watch you piss? You're like, oh, we're going to the bathroom now. <laughs> it's like, we, it's like we we <laughs> are going to the bathroom now. Okay, all of my relationships, I don't think I've ever pissed in front of them. I'm like, just leave the room. I don't know. It's I'm like always like, we're not time. there yet. It's yeah. just, I don't need you in here. Even if we were there yet, it's just like, I need to like wipe and enjoy that moment with myself. Yeah. It's just a me thing. Yeah. It's my personal time, but your time is always us time. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. What's yours is mine. What's mine is mine. I really do need a Q-tip though. Give me like the wildest. Wildest. Date. Date. You've had. Like, wildest, I don't care if it was good or bad. I prefer if it was bad because it's more interesting, but <laughs> I'm kidding. I feel like whenever we want anything bad, I just revisit the summer I lived in New York because, like, that whole fucking thing was bad. So we were, like, out at a bar. There was 
like a guy and I was like, I, I, he's vibing with me. I guess I'm like vibing back. Like, we'll just see how this goes. And then we went from that place to um, another place. But like this second place was my jam. Like the music was fucking good. It was in the Lower East Side. It was fucking great. We got to the new place and there was just so many more guys that were my vibe there. So I was like, <laughs> I was like fuck this guy. Yes. So I tried like leaving him. Like, Oh, you can't once you go to a place with somebody. Stop. I did. And like, don't fucking tell me that you can't because I'm the person that will. You did? I know. I'm an asshole. Anyways. Oh, no, he wouldn't leave me alone. Okay, yeah. If you If you're that attached ew you've lost like, me like you know what I mean like in the beginning I feel like maybe I was a little bit more attached but then when we got to that second place and like I was like, like ooh I'm baby, baby I'm here these guys <laughs> and like the, you know oh yeah, like this guy was like a khakis and like Birkenstock guy. Oh, that, like lived oh. in Tribeca in finance. Bye. Not bye. my vibe. Bye bye. But then we got here and I was like, oh my God, these guys have style. They can dance. Like, oh my God, everybody's taller than me. It was just my vibe. So I like to dance. We like to dance. Live. I was dancing yes. on a table. Sorry, dad. <laughs> Not, and it was like, I was like 22. Like, I don't do that anymore. But, anyways. It was more of a like, everybody was like, we're vibing with you. You're so good. Oh my God, stand up, do it. Yes, it was more of a like, happy times. And he literally came up to me and was like, pulled me down. No. Not kidding. The guy you came in with. Yes. Bye. I don't even know his name. Goodbye. Pulled me down and was like, trying to dance with me. And I was like, I was like, you're sorry. Like, I just don't want to dance with you. He, every night, every time a guy, because I started dancing with another guy, he came in and was like, why are you dancing with him? <gasps> he was just yeah. not... Like, Get oh my God, here, son. Yeah. It was just, he was just a lot. Then he like cabbed it back home with me, except he didn't stop in Tribeca. He fucking came to NYU with me and tried sleeping in my bed and wouldn't leave. No. I swear to God. I was like, dude, you need to go home. And he was like, no, like, why are you being bad vibes? And I was like, dude, like, so this is literally a single fucking like ham sheet right now. Like I don't even know what I'm sleeping on. You need to get lost. Ew. He didn't leave until 5 a.m. No. What were you doing? Nothing. I was basically lying on the floor. No, no. He had my bed. Why don't guys get the fucking hint? You think because you're going to stay or come with me that I'm going to suddenly be like, you know, I'm going to throw the veggie on your face. Like it's not happening. Yeah. If I already made up my mind. There's no way you can change it. Don't be that person. There's no way. Like, if I just saw a sea full of people that were more my vibe and you were being a fucking leech, no. Guys hate when girls do that, so why are guys doing that? Exactly. And then they catch a mood when you're like, dude, seriously? Like, They're leave. like, you're a bitch. You're moody. Like, make up your mind. Like, I'm like, I haven't, like, really had a really terrible, terrible bad date because usually if I say yes to a date, I really, really like the person. Have you ever had sex with a guy and, like, you didn't come, but he did, but yeah. he didn't want to do another round. Or like, <laughs> give, us, give us a scoop. Or like, he didn't have energy for a round two, or like, he didn't know how. Or like, give us some insight. Let's talk about that. Okay, so I'm actually done with makeup. Guys. Same, same, same. I was just talking, so I stopped, but I'm basically done. I did my eyebrows. I'm so good. My I, did, so I just, I use this clear brow gel by Anastasia Dude. Beverly Hills, whatever. And then I basically just put on a lipstick and I'm done. So we're just going to sit here and chat. Okay, so Top. this is my makeup, guys. It's really not the best today because my skin's just a little wonky. I feel like I put way too much on. My lips but are just not But it is what it is. But it is what it is. So, I used to only think that sex back in the day was mm -hmm. for the guy. Like, it was just like, I would fuck him and he would come and that would be the end of the sex. But a lot of guys still think like that. Like, a lot of guys... And you guys are probably, like, underage as fuck or mentally underage. So, mentally get with underage. the age. Get with the age if you're fucking. Yeah. Here's the thing. When you're fucking a guy and he comes within the first few minutes and it's the first time and like this and that, okay, I'm gonna cut him some slack. Yeah. Like I said, first time is a write off. However, and I don't wanna be extreme, but if you're not ready for round two or if you're not gonna give another shot shortly after, a few hours after, like I get it, you need to recuperate. Some dicks are a little sensitive. I get it, you know, whatever. As long as you verbalize that to me, yeah, we're verbalize good. Verbalize that. Also, like, feel like a little bit bad. Like that, you know, you came and I didn't. And yeah. like it's only been like a few no, minutes. No, and most guys are, you know what, even if they don't show it, are very insecure about the fact that they came within a few minutes. In a way, I'm kind of like, oh. What do you mean? Like, like oh, like I feel like, you know. Cute, right? Yeah, yeah good. I feel like yeah. I feel cute. Oh my God. So, like, so I think 
there's a, there's like a level like once you get to the point where you guys fuck pretty often you guys are used to each other yeah um if like it's almost like i want to make sure he comes as quick as possible yeah because i want to like be the trip. one that yeah yeah you yeah. Trip. Like, yeah 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 I, I did that oh that was me oh, no i'm like oh baby like you couldn't hold it in like oh was it that good oh like, sorry, girl you know? With i the play baby that talk. i play that so I'm, well. not, I'm not even doing that right no, now. No, I'm always. I'm always like, oh, like I'm you, like shy. Is it that good? I'm like, shy. Um, no, no. Honestly, I'm shy too. But like, yeah. But like, I'm like get shy. There. I'll no, get no, no, there. no, 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 no. No. I know the way no, that no, I am. No, no, no. No, I'm mute. Not. I'm not. <laughs> not like that. No, I love the talking. The talking is essential. You need that. I just need, and if we're gonna have sex, I need a. There needs to be a level of trust and comfortability for me. And like, I don't feel that very often with a lot of people, especially because those early really like those early experiences weren't like the best. And now that I'm older and I know myself and I know my body and I know how it works and what I like and how it feels. And I feel like I can direct myself or direct the other person that trust and comfortability needs to be there in order for me to get as nasty as I possibly can. True. Yeah. I mean, take, I, I wouldn't. Yeah. Do, I wouldn't talk like that to a guy I just met. Actually. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I might. <laughs> you know what? And that's I'm fine. Like, that's fine. Different strokes for different folks, ladies. 100%. If you're like me and you just need a little bit more time and it's it's a more you know, maybe intimate and like soulful experience, then there is nothing to be ashamed of. That's just who you are. But if you're also like Eden and you're just super comfortable, I think, like with yourself and who you are and you have all of that, then that's also okay and liberating. You made it sound so nice, but in reality, guys, it's just that I'm a, I'm a little bit of a... Uh, You're not little, though. No, no, I'm a little bit of like, like a classic uh, best friend. She's not a hoe, guys. I'm, no, no, I'm not a hoe. I'm that bitch that's kind of like if a guy is like squirming in his seat, I'm kind of like, yeah, that's right, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're gonna squirm. <laughs> You're gonna cry like a little baby. You're gonna cry like a little because, baby because because the thing is, is like obviously, I'm I'm definitely not dominant in the bedroom. Like I prefer to be more submissive, but there will be. But more. only with the right. Per like here's yes, the thing. Yes. There's just like when I think about sex, there's just a certain type of way that it needs to go down and. Like, yes, uh, like you love to submit, but like, I need to know that you know how to fucking lead. Like you need to know what you're doing. Yes. Oh yeah. Like, or else it's fucking useless. Like, I don't want to direct you. Like, fuck, I direct everybody every day, <laughs> all the <laughs> time. <laughs> like, I want you to tell me what the fuck to do and when to do it and how to do it for how long. Actually, I'd rather him not tell me what to do. I'd rather him just do it. A little, yeah, oh, like oh, he oh, does it, but like like a little use and abuse for like a sack, like consensual. Oh yeah, <laughs> we, we've talked about this a lot. Like a little use and abuse consensual. However, like there'll be times where it's like if you're doing, if you're performing oral sex or whatever, and you have the power, like you literally have the balls. Yes, you literally have the power. So it's like I like to um, make him feel like a little bitch boy. Okay. And, and they all, they all secretly, okay. secretly for a few minutes. I'm not talking the whole time. Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, they all secretly like it. Yeah, I don't know. That's just not my. I've never. I I can't do that. Like I. I don't know. Maybe it's just like, oh, what's wrong? And he's like flinching and like crying and can't talk. It's like, what is wrong? And he's like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Sakes. Loves to torture people. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm a Scorpio. Yes, I know. <laughs> we always scream what we are. I'm a Virgo. I'm, I'm a Scorpio. A Virgo. What's funny though? Is your Venus is actually I how you said are? Your penis, and I'm like, no, your Venus sign yes. is actually how you are in like intimate relationships and like what is kind that? of what is like that? sex. So it's funny because my Venus is in Scorpio. So you're it's nasty. your love and sex. You're nasty. So and and, and I only want it like that. So I need I need Me to too. know like if I'm good if I'm gonna do that I need to know that like it's not gonna be a disappointment sex in general if you're not comfortable like it's not gonna be good and i think the first time for anybody is not always good i exactly. think second time is whatever third fourth fifth you can kind of get the general consensus as to how it's going to be in the future right what you have in you and the potential right i think you need to vocalize what you like and what you don't like i think you need to ask the girl and ask the guy if they're cool with certain things like for yes. example yes for example if you're, gonna, if you're gonna if you're gonna play around and then you're gonna take a finger and you're gonna just shove it up my but no 
I need, I need, I need you to let me know. <laughs> so I don't jump. Like, like, I just need, I just need to know where, where we're going to go. Where we're going with this. Like, what kind of play you want to do. Like, vagina yeah. aspect. Like, very different. So it's like, you just need to make the person aware. With a guy, too. Like, some guys don't like their balls, like, punched. Yes, and exactly. some guys do. Like, okay, I don't know. Who <laughs> likes their balls punched? Maybe, like, sucked. No, but like, like, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. Different, different, different levels exactly. of aggression. Different levels of, like, exactly. how much, how little, how, how gentle. Much, how little. Yeah. All of that stuff is important, and it takes time to get to that you need to like figure out what works for you mm -hmm. as a woman mm -hmm. and like we've talked about this we kind of alluded to it in episode nine mm -hmm. where it's like either you're like having sex sex with like friends with benefits or you're like masturbating or like learning yourself i don't like porn because porn is fucking wrong and it's not how things not actually accurate, are yeah. it's not accurate so like even like just like reading about stuff like i find like reading about sex or like reading about stories mm -hmm. from different people and like then experimenting like a with yourself and also only with someone that you trust is how you can yeah, how do you know me. what works for you or what would work i think that's a very good point like i like, also think do your like, fantasies like ooh okay, yeah okay. okay so here's the thing this is why i'm not into porn because porn is just porn ruins fantasies for guys it does for girls well it just it just it was never my vibe yeah and i remember when i was telling some of my guy friends i'm like yeah like if i need to get there and like i'm trying to get myself off then i'm just like thinking about shit i'm like what what would get me there like what do i want right now or what do i need or what do i what am i picturing mm -hmm. and like your fantasies are actually like what would work for you in real life like, look at to where your mind is going in those moments. Like, what is being done to you? Or, like, what are you doing? Or, like, what are you thinking of to get you there? Mm hmm Right? If my significant other wasn't thinking about me for those fantasies, bitch. Like, okay, bitch. here's the thing. No, Think know. about her, and it's like, Think what, me. what is she doing? <laughs> what is she doing to you? Yeah, yeah. What do you or like? what is he doing to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Totally, totally. Picture that person that you like. Yes. Doing that shit to you, and then when you see that person, it's gonna be real awkward. You're gonna have a hard on immediately. I mean, that's not awkward. That's fun. That's yeah, fun. It's fun. I mean, maybe Hello. awkward for him. Awkward for him, but like fun for you. Yeah, so I'm always like, oh you. my god. Oh, exactly. I played the little baby thing. Why are you hard? Oh my god. <laughs> like in the middle of a party, like Eden just makes it awkward for everybody. I mean, I'm like, why are you guys hard right now? Are you hard? Like, am I making you hard? <laughs> <laughs> and nobody's nobody even paying attention. Like and nobody's paying attention. Yeah, Everyone's like, who's Ethan? <laughs> Everybody's like, what the fuck is she doing? What is she doing? I'm like, it's okay. I know you guys are hard. It's fine. <laughs> if he puts his hand on the wheel and he's driving, and he's reversing, that's just so oh, funny. Oh, oh, the re I think the reverse the reverse car gets every girl because she's like, not no girl knows how to reverse. I fucking hit the pole. I'm like, this is so hard. No, I'm no, no. So... When he like does that, and like he has a camera, but he's doing it on purpose. He has like a rear rear view camera, but he's still like, he's like one second. Oh my god! I'm like, okay, so we're gonna stop here. And, and I'm like, basically. okay, so um, <clears throat> exactly. Pull the fuck over, son. Pull over. Wow. Yeah, I'm so totally hot. with you. That's so hot. You know, there's different parts of the body that I find like attractive, like weird. So for me, for guys, it's like if they're doing something, I look at their shoulders, shoulder blades. Oh yeah. I was never an arm girl. Uh, but now I think I'm kind of slowly becoming an arm girl, like bicep. I don't want thick. I don't want. I don't want like mu super muscular. Yeah, I want like. I, want I like lean. lean. I like yum. lean. Lean and I yummy. Like, like lean yeah. and yummy. Yes. yes. <laughs> yummy. Lean and yummy. Yes. Yeah, so cute. Yes. I used to like guys with like no ass, but now I'm kind of like so into like a little. Okay. Booty. Here's the thing. A little booty. The butt always get. I don't. I'm not a butt person. I'm not a big butt girl. Like I don't really look at it. Like mm -hmm. obviously, like a nice little cute like plump situation, but like I really just. It's not something I look for. It's not something I go for. I don't really care. Um, abs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Penis I know line, everybody penis is. Oh yeah. Penis line. Penis line. Abs. You know I what? think that's. Isn't that your V? You call that like V or yeah. something? Yeah. 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 I call it penis line. Because <laughs> it's all the penis. <laughs> because it's obviously leading to the penis. No, because so the thing is, is the abs. I agree with you. I like abs, but I think that if it's too much. If no, no, no. I don't like too much. Here's the thing. Like I like it's tone. Like, I like a little. Yeah. I need to know that they're like they're there, there. They're there. They're not like. <laughs> <laughs> they're just it's there. Like cheese grater. And then exactly, except when I'm doing my app crunches, I'm like cheese grater, cheese grater, cheese grater. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like that, so it's so weird. It's like think about it as like a full body scan. It's like uh uh uh. Beep 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 beep. beep, beep. Exactly.
Exactly. Pull his pants down. Exactly. Pull his pants down. <laughs> oh, it's just a beautiful sight, guys. We love it. Wow, I'm so... You know what's crazy? I'm so surprised I'm talking about sex like this. Because if I know. Ago, I've been thinking about this the whole time. I'm like, oh my God. I can't believe I'm here. Yeah, how well. And I'm like sexually empowered because... And I'm not even kidding. Like a few years ago, I was so... Not prude, but I was... No, I didn't talk about it. Exactly. I didn't even have girlfriends to talk about shit until to. Until you like told... <laughs> yeah. Until it was like Eden. Like because it was such a like a taboo. Like nobody wanted to talk about like their sexual experiences. And I was me? always like, so we're really not talking about this? Like we're really not? Like that's the first thing I ask. I'm like, I need to know. Like that's what the girls are for. Yeah. I'm like, hi, how are you? How was your weekend? How was the dick? Give me details. Like, did we? Yeah. How was your day? It's like, how was the dick? Like it's the same thing. The girls just need to know. I think I speak for both of us. We came from like really conservative yeah. households. Yeah. Um, sex was never like talked about openly. It wasn't something that was like until my brother came around. Really? Yeah. And then my brother, like, once he reached puberty, he's like the type of guy that doesn't know what not to say and what to say. Oh, I love, love him. him. Love him to that. death. I love him. For We're that. sitting at dinner and he's like, it's "Mom, like double mom, movies. dad, how was the sex last night? Mid dinner." And I'm sitting there like, Yo. ew, ew, wait, but tell me. <laughs> I would die. I would die. Honestly, gross, but hilarious. And then because my brother's so open, my mom's actually really cool too. She's always been very open. But she was never like, let's talk about sex casually. When I was having all of these questions or like when I was like curious and like I was the firstborn girl. You're like Difficult. navigating stuff yes, yeah. by yourself. It's like I'm not going to ask my mom, but I also don't have like anybody really else to ask. It's like I'm doing my own research, trying to figure shit out on my own. And my friends want to talk because they're all like, oh my God, no, we don't talk about that stuff. And I'm like, okay, like prude city. Why? Right the reason why I'm so sexually in tune with myself, literally because I have decided to like Put it all on the table. Just be that person for somebody else. Yeah. There's so many, like when I think about it, I'm like, there's so many people that like ask me questions. They're like, oh my God, like I know you're down to talk about this. Like, yeah. has this happened to you? I'm yeah. like, fuck girl. Yes. Like it yeah. has. Yeah. And like, A, it's okay if you're like this. And it's also okay if you're like that. Right. Like, right. You don't need to be like everybody on Instagram. Totally. And you can totally march to the own beat of your drum. Like it's right. fine. You're going to find somebody who vibes with you and fucks with you. Absolutely. And like the thing is, is I've realized every time I have like a sexual partner or a boyfriend or whatever having conversations about that like i am so open with my significant others like yeah others I, so I always say significant others, others. guys at, just at so you know time. i'm not seeing more than one person every time i'm dating a guy my number one conversation with him is sex and you know why it's not because of like i'm like oh like what do you like like i don't give a fuck what you like it's like what well, what we like what works what's what gonna work here for both of us and like the minute i start talking to him about it i always find that the guy is like so much better in bed and cooler like he suddenly just he's like oh shit she's talking about this stuff thank god because like i actually want to ask her this yeah and she's asking me this yeah and like it's I'm, like a learning experience like a sharing of information and if you don't know what to talk about talk about sex like i speak for like three four hours about this yeah and it's not just like oh baby how do you like it no it's not like no. that it's literally like it's like intimate like yeah talk about like the experiences talk about yourself your body like you know we should try know. you know what we shouldn't do you know we should like you know things exactly. like that exactly like things i'm not down to do mm -hmm. don't do it yeah don't put a thumb anywhere near my ass yeah um you know actually guys like that yeah, I know they do. That's why you got to verbalize you're not down for the it. The thing is, it's like I've never done it to a guy. Oh, wait, what? I never shoved a thumb up a guy's... Okay. Uh, uh, not that I want to, but I... Okay, so I thought we were talking about it vice versa. Oh. I didn't even know you doing it to them was a thing. Let me tell you it is. <laughs> when you're sucking a his dick or you're fucking him and you shove a finger up his butthole... No. He's going to say no. He's going to say no at first. No. I mean, you need consent, guys, so don't, don't. Oh, my God. I'm, <laughs> like, literally No, I, no but I'm cringing. Cringing. No, no, there's, like, like, shh. And then he just, like, comes. Ah, uh, no. So, if you don't want to, like, suck his dick for like, too long, you shout just. shout out to my husband. It's <laughs> never going to be me, baby. It's never going to be me. Yeah, you know what? Forget about that. Let's not, let's just not. Yeah, let's it. just stop talking let's about the assholes. Like, I think we should just assholes. leave that for, like, our morning poop. Would you do anal? No. No, mm -hmm. it's painful. Uh, yeah, I know. I just, I could not say <laughs> Okay, so anyways, we're going to end it there. Um, it was just a lot. We talked about so much stuff. Like, I'm, oh my God. I need to go sit in the forest and like Girl meditate chat. and sage Guys, right now. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that this was interesting. Informative <laughs> in so many ways, not only on our makeup looks, 
but on our poop shoots and our V holes. Yeah. Oh my and God. your wee holes. This is what, these are the only essentials you really need. Okay, ladies, you just need your summer water. It's oh, a God, rose thumbnail. Egg. Isn't that what YouTubers do? Should we pose with it? No. And, <laughs> and no. Our, our Laniage lip balm. Okay, guys. Wait, what? How do you pronounce it? Laniage? Laniage? How do you say it? Laniage. Laniage? Laniage? Whatever, it's something like that. We're gonna move on to tequila next. Okay guys, thank you so much. Hit the button, like, subscribe to comment. my new makeup channel. I need a new makeup Oh, you're bag. so bougie. I need a new Fuck makeup this. I'm like I a took hobo. it from my mom, it's fine. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed episode 10. This was so organic, this was girl talk. This is what it's all about with yeah. a little bit of rose. What is this, rose? AKA yes. summer water, yes. I thought it was think. white Zinfandel. Dale. But then it would be white. No, we drank the pink white Zinfandel. Which but that was like very like pale pink, kind of like that. <laughs> kind of like the balls over here. Kind Anyways, like guys, balls. thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this and let us know what else you want to see. If you love this, like we're so down to do this. Yeah, we're so down All to the do time. this. Exactly. Every day. I'm we're going to talk about a lot of more interesting <laughs> things coming up in the next half of like this season of your blocked. Um, that's when we're going to talk about like Tinder shit. Oh my God, or, like, I'm so bumble. emotional. Um, girl masturbation. Oh, We're gonna talk about a lot of different things. Hey, what was it? It's like this. Oh, when guys used to pose like the that. Shocker? I can't even This do is the shocker. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! Yes. I can't. You're like making me relive high school and I blocked it the fuck out and I'm gonna throw up. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Comment, like, subscribe. We oh. made it to episode 10. Cheers. Cheers. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.